Hello and welcome to a Priori story time. This we're here with Red Wing Blackbird. There you are. You okay there? You want to come back in to be warm? Okay, thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. And hello, Bob Bear, who would like to remind everybody to please wear a mask. Thank you. And also, um, Listen to good stories. Okay, want to be warm in here with Bob? Okay. We're reading a story from Keepers of the Earth by Michael Caduto and Joseph Bruchach. And this is from uh, the Simshian uh, peoples. A long time ago, the old people say the tide did not come in or go out. The ocean would stay very high up on the shore for a long time, and the clams and the seaweed and the other good things to eat would be hidden under deep water. The people were often hungry. This is not the way it should be, said Raven. Then he put on his blanket of black feathers and flew along the coast, following the line of the tide. At last, he came to the house of a very very old woman, who was the one who held the tide line in her hand. As long as she held on to it, the tide would stay high. Raven walked into the old woman's house. There she sat, the tide line held firmly in her hand. Raven sat down across from her. Ah, he said, those clams were good to eat. What clams, said the old woman. But Raven did not answer her. Instead, he patted his stomach and said, Ah, oh, it was so easy to pick them up that I have eaten as much as I can eat. That can't be so, said the old woman, trying to look past Raven to see out her door. But Raven blocked the entrance. So she stood up and leaned past him to look out. Then Raven pushed her so that she fell through the door. And as she fell, he threw dust into her eyes so that she was blinded. She let go of the tide line then and the tide rushed out, leaving all kinds of clams and crabs and other good things to eat exposed. Raven went out and began to gather clams. He gathers as much as he could carry and ate until he could eat no more. All along the beach, others were gathering the good food and thanking Raven for what he had done. Finally, he came back to the place where the old woman still was. Raven, she said, I know it is you. Heal my eyes so that I can see again. I will heal you, Raven said, but only if you promise to let go of the tide line twice a day. The people cannot wait so long to gather food on the beaches. I will do it, said the old woman. Then Raven washed out her eyes and she could see again. So it is that the tide comes in and goes out every day because Raven made the old woman let go of the tide line. Oh, did you like that? What did you think about, do you want to tell them about wearing a mask and washing their hands? Okay, no, I think they heard already, but thank you. Thank you, everybody.